Hello and welcome to Elizabeth's Craft Room. Now most of the projects that I do and I teach are very quick to do um, but sometimes you want to spend a little bit more time um, making a fun project and I decided to play with this one. I just love this stamp set so much. It's called Gift from the Garden and I, I love everything that's in it. I think it's just gorgeous. So the background is stamped um, using the hardwood stamp. I've stamped that in soft suede onto berry vanilla. Quick tip on this, here's my hardwood stamp with background stamps. Sorry, that's all coming out. Uh, with background stamps, I do these upside down. Place that a piece on. That's a piece of very vanilla. I think that's cut at, I'll just check in a minute. That's cut at about uh, three and three quarter by five and a half inches. Okay, so that's done. While I've still got here, I'm also gonna stamp um, a couple of pieces of soft suede and a couple of piece, uh, and a piece and a little piece of, um, crumb cake and that is all stamped um, inked up with the soft suede ink. Now to get the effect with the um, the shelf, I'm, as I say this is soft suede and I'm going to do about an inch and then I want about three quarters of an inch, this is going to be maybe a little bit less than that I've used, um, just over half an inch, it's not at all critical, this is just for the um, the plank of wood where the, the um, bits are going to hang from and in fact it's not even straight <laughs> so that's going to bother me a little bit so I'll just fiddle with that and get that straight. Okay at the moment I've got a very narrow plank now but I will faff around with that I might do two we'll see. Um, right to do the shelf you need to start off with your shelf being the width of your card base whatever that is this is an A6 um, metric card base but whatever your card base is that's what's going to be your width and I'm just going to trim that off so that's my be my base piece then I want the depth of the shelf marked off and I'm going to do that just using um, a project life pen and I'll just use the grid paper to give me a little bit of a start on this but so there's my base shelf and then what I want is I want the, the edge of that shelf to be coming in to where the edge of the level is on this um, card, sorry, so to, to where the, the edge of the card is. So I'm going to make a little mark there and there. So this is my layer. I'm babbling, I know. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> And so I've made a little mark, the edge of the card is, can you see, and then I've marked that and I'm going to snip those pieces off. And that's going to give the 3D effect of the shelf. To make that 3D even more noticeable I'm bringing in some early espresso ink and I'm going to ink the front piece which, which would be more um, in shadow. I'm going to do the ink the front piece of the shelf a little bit more and that just definitely gives it a bit of a 3D look doesn't it. Um, while I'm at it I'm also going to ink my plank <laughs> such as it is. She might end up being a bit small, so I'm going to do this one as well. We'll decide. You know it's in a shed, it doesn't need to be perfect, does it? Okay. Um, right, okay, so what I want to do now is to stamp the things that I'm going to hang from my shelf. And I'm going to start off um, just stamping the um, watering can and the trowel and I will come on to the gloves. Now I'm going to hang these 
from my shelf. I still haven't decided which one to use, which were uh, which one. I think I think I'm going to go with this one, even though it's not quite straight. So um, I'll go ahead and just glue that on with some Tombow. I'm going to need to trim it down, but I'll just go ahead and and pop that on with some Tombow, like so, and then we'll trim those pieces off. And it's rustic. Let's just call it rustic this time. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to stamp and I'm just going for the memento ink and I want this to be hanging on my hook. And there's those two items there. Um, then I'm going to stamp the gloves. Oh, the other one, the other one I need to stamp. Boots. I'm also going to stamp the boots down at the bottom, also in memento. Right, I'm go going to go ahead and do some more stamping. Right, this time I'm going a bit more of a coordinated colourway. As you can see, I'm going for all red. And this is where the fussy cutting bits comes in. And I don't do a lot of fussy cutting, I have to say. Um, I, I like my punches and I like my dies, but sometimes there is no alternative to get a really nice effect. And I really think it's worth it for this um, for this particular project. So with the Wellington boots, I'm cutting off the soles and the top and just having the bit that I want in red. Let me put it on. Let me come up close and you can see what I've done. I've actually just left the, the sole of the boot and the top of the boot and that's that's going to be my, my effect that I'm going to get. I'm going to do the same with the handle of the trowel and the um, a bit on the watering can um, and I'm going to fussy cut the gloves as well. So let me go ahead and do that. Well, a couple of minutes of fussy cutting later, um, I've done, um, as I say, the um, watering can. I did just... Um, sponge that a little bit with some espresso to give it a little bit of a kind of 3D look. Um, with this one done differently on the trowel I've actually done the middle bit of the handle just the barrel of the handle if you like rather than the you know going downwards so I'm happier with that I think and then with the gloves I have completely fussy cut them out and I'm going to just pop those up there. Oops. And with a dimensional, I'm going to pop the second one a little bit higher, kind of overlapping. Where that one's going to hang. Um, I'm also going to put my um, shelf on there, my workbench on there with whoops with a dimensional, and I want that. Whoops, there, there and there because that's what's going to be on the actual, um, on this layer here because these pieces are going to overlap a little. That's going over the edge. Um, and the final piece and um, thank you to my lovely downline Tracy L because she came up with this idea and that was the little um, the little thanks hanging from that piece. So I'm stamping the thanks. This is from and many more greetings, but you could use any greeting you wish. So I'm stamping my thanks. That wasn't a very good one. I'll do another one onto this piece here. So this was my crumb cake piece um, that I cut. And I'm going to use the washi label and punch that out and then pop that back in again because I want a shorter notice and then once again with that same early espresso ink I just want to go around the edge particularly on those little washy ends to make that stand out and I'm going to go and get a needle and thread to do the, um, to do the twine 
Now I've made this even smaller this time, this little thanks I've noticed than last time. But I'm going to make little holes in it using my pricking tool. And then needle and thread, I'm going to go down and back up. Whoop. And I'm going to tie some knots in the end to make my little sign. So there you go. A bit of faffing with some little tiny knots. And now we're ready to put that on there. Um, once again, I'm going to use some dimensionals, <laughs> which I thought I'd managed to lose in that five minutes. <laughs> there they are. How often do you lose things on your desk? All the time I lose, lose things. And I'm going to pop that there. And I'm going to take some candy dots, and I think I'll use these uh, here, which I think are Sahara sand, but you need a kind of a lighter colour is the best way. And I'm actually going to stick that on there, and then I'm going to put the hooks on. that these things are hanging from. Move that one up a little bit. I'm going to do a little loop now. I'm just looking at this, so it needs to be a little bit higher. So here's my little cheat things. I'm going to do a little loop as though my Gloves are hanging from a loop there, and I'm also going to use my um, Project Life pen just to fill in those little edge bits where um, the stamping had missed because it's going over two levels. Okay, final thing is to mount that up on its background. And my fussy cutting slightly more hard work than my usual projects project is done there you go so that's the one i've just done now with the real red more consistent um colors in there and that was my original one let me bring that up closer so you can have a little look at all the elements i really really like this design i think it's a fun one it's worth a little bit of extra effort I hope you've enjoyed your um, slightly longer visit to Elizabeth's Craft Room today and I look forward to welcoming you back again soon. Love.